Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. So, uh, it's actually been a while since I've done anything, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. So, that's just sitting there. Okay. So, the combine's here. That wagon is full. So, I think we need to empty the wagon. Yeah. Okay. So, we're gonna go dump this wagon of corn. And I need to adjust my foot pedals. Um, so yeah, uh, it's been actually like over a week. It's probably been like a week and a half, almost two weeks, since I've actually like recorded video. Um, I was so far ahead there for a while, so I didn't really have to do any recording, but, uh, yeah, we are now. Uh, I need to go like this with my steering wheel for whatever reason. Alright. <clears throat> um, yeah, so... My plan for this series is that once we finish harvest and sell all the grain, um, we will move over to the version 2.1 of the map uh, and play on that. Uh, and of course, we will we will sell the equipment or like sell the grain and then upgrade the equipment uh, that I'd like to upgrade and then we'll um, and then and then uh, geez I'm totally losing my train of thought and then we will be able to um, move over and we'll have all of the you know upgraded equipment that we want and then we'll also be able to be running the latest version of the map so that will uh, that'll be very nice uh, to be able to run the new version of the map because uh, it does have added fruits or crops uh, they have added some new stuff to it and it just you know is overall better because it's a newer version of the map uh, so yeah uh, would definitely like to upgrade update to that so we'll do that once all of our harvesting is done and our equipment is sold so not exactly sure if we'll uh, actually get into winter uh, or not uh, that'll just kind of depend on how I do things in terms of selling the grain uh, if I just sit and fast forward till I get great demands or how I do that because uh, I'm not exactly sure how I want to go about doing that yet but I will figure something out and uh, get a plan put into action. Uh, at some point or another. Am I getting off here? I'm like, oh, I might have a little bit. But, uh, yeah, so we'll get something figured out at some point. Yeah, so hopefully we can get the corn harvest done pretty soon, and then you know, we'll be able to move over sooner as well. So I believe that was the 80 or 75% uh, beeper. Yes. So then there's 80. But uh, yeah, so I'm glad to be finally playing on this save game again. I have been playing. A decent amount off and on uh, you know 
on other save games, but uh, not a whole lot really. button so we're just gonna unload while we're here <clears throat> so yeah it has been a while uh, since I've recorded anything like I said so I'm um, kind of a little rusty, I guess you could say. Not really, I guess. I don't know. But anyway. But uh, yeah, so a uh, little interesting story here. So uh, on Friday, I was working, uh, and it started raining uh, pretty pretty heavily, actually. Uh, I think most areas we got half an inch uh, in a couple of hours on Friday I think maybe over two three hours um, and you know for a while now I've been having issues with the wiper blades on my pickup uh, where you know they'll run like when I'm running them on low or high or any time in general really I guess uh, they'd run for a little while and then all of a sudden they'd stop um, you know whether it was standing straight up or as they were going down or up or whatever you know not stopping in their resting point like you know they normally would um, and you know so when it was raining really hard it made it difficult to see and I just never took care of it and I had been doing some little testings and doing a little research trying to figure out what it could be uh, if it was just the fuse or if it was maybe my motor or some wiring or what the heck it was and uh, just never got around to doing anything with it and then uh, on Friday it was raining like I said and I got done working and I parked my boss's pickup uh, in his driveway hopped into my pickup and started driving uh, of course turning the windshield wipers on high because it was raining so hard and I got a little, uh, maybe a quarter of the way home, and my wipers wouldn't turn on at all. So I pulled into a, a gas station parking lot and uh, shut my truck off. I let it sit for a few minutes, started it back up, and then they came on, and they worked for a little bit longer. I got about about halfway home, and then they completely quit on me. You know, they would not come on. I tried to shut off and start the pickup. That did not do anything. They just would not come back on. So I um, ended up getting a ride home, and then I, you know, got a bunch of stuff done. You know, I was going to my dad, so I had to pack for that and whatever. And I noticed it stopped raining, so I got a ride back to my pickup quick. And I took a couple of towels with, and I wiped off the windshield, and I started driving. I was driving to my dad's, because where I had to stop, my pickup was actually closer to my dad's than to my house. And, uh, you know, I was going to my dad's anyways. But, uh, you know, I just kind of, I basically booked it to my dad's in a way. And uh, about halfway to my dad's, I stopped and wiped off my driver's side again, and and then uh, I got to my dad's and I had done some research and saw something that, you know, it could be my wiper control module, which was behind my glove box, which meant I had to take out my glove box and, uh, you know, a bunch of other stuff. And then I was kind of looking at it and then I just left it. And then on Saturday, uh, my dad and I took a look into it and he was also talking to a buddy of his who is a mechanic at the Ford dealership. Um... You know, and as most of you know, I drive a, I have an old Ford, so you know he kind of helped us some, and we found out that it was my wiper motor uh, that it had basically quit on me, and so we uh, had to go buy a new one, and then had to do the go through the long process of taking the old one out. Uh, it was actually much longer of a process than I thought it would be. 
uh, you know, because there's three bolts that held the base in for the motor, and then there was three bolts that held the motor to the base. So I thought, you know, oh heck, this is going to be, you know, easy. Just take out these three bolts, and then take it out, and then take off the three bolts for the motor. Yeah, it was nowhere near that easily easy to do. We had to take out, you know, tons of other pieces, and I think we worked on it for about an hour and a half or so between you know taking the old one out and putting the old, new one in and you know then we finally got everything out and put the new one on put everything back and uh, tried it out and it worked perfectly again so uh, but of course it had to pick a day where it was like pouring rain to completely quit you know of course it would pick a day that it's raining to quit because that's when I'd be using it but it uh, would have been nice to not be while it was completely downpouring. You know, maybe like if it had been sprinkling, it wouldn't have been too bad, but uh, it just, it had to pick that day to quit. <clears throat> um, but it was a fun little project to do, and then I also discovered that my horn actually does work. Uh, it's just that something in my switch for the horn uh, it would be messed up because it doesn't work when you press the button uh, it you know it's a uh, 1994 f-150 so on either side of the steering wheel uh, there's buttons for the horn uh, not in the center like most vehicles and so um, oh jeez uh, so you have to press those two buttons and so something is wrong with those uh, not with the horn itself because uh, my dad was sitting there with a test light uh, testing different spots trying to see if we had power in different areas and whatnot and, um, and he put the tester into one spot and all of a sudden the horn went off so it's kind of like, oh, well, your horn does work. And it's kind of funny to have happen randomly like that. But, uh, so now I guess I know that it does work. Just, uh, I need to figure out how to get, or figure out what else is wrong with it, or what is wrong with it, that it's not wanting to, uh, actually work with the buttons. Uh, which would be nice because there's so many times that I've wanted to use my horn, but I can't. Uh, especially when people uh, pull out in front of me and stuff like that. It's just, the people in this town drive so horribly. It's like nobody, it's like everybody got their license out of a cereal box or something. It's just ridiculous. And they don't pay attention and it's annoying to drive at times, but... But there's been so many times that I wanted to use my horn, and you know, even with like animals crossing the road and stuff, or next to the road, but uh, never, never could. And then also need to uh, look into getting new brakes for for it as well, because um, my stepdad thinks that I've got a warped rotor or something or something else, because. I'll be driving and then as soon as I start to tap the brakes, uh, my whole pickup shakes, you know, when I'm pressing the brakes. So something's wrong in the brakes. Uh, and I guess, you know, that's probably something that we'll do. Um, so I guess maybe uh, whenever I get around to doing that, uh, if we do it, whenever that may be, uh, I may pull out the GoPro and get some footage of it. I did get some footage a couple weeks ago uh, with the GoPro. Uh, I took a trip down to um, my mom's parents' cabin, and uh, I got you know let the GoPro roll while I drove down there, and then uh, while I drove back as well. And then I also got some neat pictures, uh, one of which you saw on my desktop there um, of my pickup. And then I got a couple more of just like the water and beach and I got one with my phone too that turned out pretty neat. And then uh, um, 
did a little short clip, I think. Uh, I had to put the Ranger in the garage uh, before we left, and so I think, pretty sure I took the GoPro and you know, did a little bit of recording while I drove it around. Because it was in front of their garage, and then I had to drive it around and put it inside. So I think I did a little filming there while I did that. Not positive, though, but I'm pretty sure I did. But I haven't messed with that footage yet, uh, so I still need to do that. I mean, it's not really the most interesting thing. It's just a super quick, uh, super high-speed video of driving, you know, and then some pictures and that's about it I think so that would be about all it amounts to but I guess it's something interesting to do I guess I do want to try and do some more stuff with the GoPro uh, at some point About the most that I used my GoPro was during Hain. That was about the uh, the most that I did with it. But I don't really do uh, do much of anything interesting in a day that you know, it's like, oh, I'll take the GoPro and film it or whatever. I just kind of work and come home and record videos. That's about all that I do. Aside from doing other odds and ends, whether it's mowing my lawn or you know stuff like that but but nothing of much uh, excitement or anything like that I guess nothing exciting or that would be very interesting I do try and record as much, you know, neat stuff as I can. But All right, so I'm not sure if this is going to fill this gravity wagon or not. I'll have to see here. We do still have a pretty fair amount of uh, harvesting to do. Goes pretty slow with this little corn head. They're starting to get down there on fuel on uh, our combine and case here. Alright, so that did fill that. So we'll just pull this right up here and then we'll go ahead and unload it. Uh, unload the gravity wagon there. get uh, two loads out in this video I am hoping to record like two or three videos right now because um, I've got quite a bit I missed Monday uh, you know when you're watching this there should be two other videos that have gone up with this uh, and you're watching this on Wednesday um, because I missed Monday because I um, uh, I didn't get a chance you know last week uh, much to record anything for video and I didn't get any chance at all to do anything over the weekend uh, I did a little bit of work on um, my 
new project that I'll be revealing probably in a couple of weeks. We'll see what kind of progress I make on it, but um, and then I did, maybe did like an hour on that or something. Um, but you know, it, it wasn't like a time where I could have been recording versus doing that. Or anything like that. But, uh. Um. And then. The, it is Tuesday right now that I'm recording this, but it's like uh, about 20 after 8 right now. And, um. You know, to record two videos and then edit them both. Uh, it's probably going to be another hour or better, so that's going to put me, you know, after 9, and will have me close to 10-ish or so, and it would take a while for two videos to upload tonight, and so uh, I'm just going to do three videos tomorrow, uh, for me, I guess, three videos on Wednesday, um, you know, just maybe see if I can't get one of them edited at least tonight, and then tomorrow when I get back from work I can edit the other two and then upload them but I know that I I'm not gonna be able to do all of that uh, tonight so not gonna try but then the rest of the week it'll be back to normal It's kind of amazing, like, how long this series has been going already, you know, it's been, we're on week four here now, so it's kind of, kind of crazy. I think this literally is the longest series that I've ever done. But, that's cool. It's a very nice map, so... I do not at all mind playing on it for a long time. So actually, oh. actually, now that I look at it here, we actually don't have a super huge uh, amount more of corn to combine. Because uh, it's basically just Oh, right there. You can actually see the edge right there. So not too terribly much farther to go. So, might be able to finish it by the end of today, basically. Um, you know, by the time we have three videos out. So, possibly by the end of the week, we may be uh, moving to the updated version of the map. And then, you know, the reason that I didn't want to move sooner is because with the, you know, updating maps, so much has been changed that, you know, you can't just move your save game over to it um, because you know things aren't the same or exactly the same or anything like that so you can't you know just move your save game files over and everything's gonna move over to you know like if I couldn't move my save games over save game files over and have it so that on version 2.1 where you know we have this amount of corn left uh, you know that just that it doesn't work that way so um, you know it sadly it kind of would be nice if that would work that way but it doesn't and it won't so but uh <coughs> um so you know just waiting because by the time that we sell all of our crops and everything you know it'll be winter time probably or close to it so then we'll be close to where you know, we'll be back to spring. So, 
basically starting a fresh save game it puts me at the first day of spring anyways and then you know all I gotta do is move over the money and the machines and you know there we go everything's ready to go again so um, so that'll be pretty simple it's just you know like especially if we had been doing dairy that really would have been hard to move everything over uh, because you know you gotta try and you know you gotta get your bales copied over and stuff but they probably wouldn't go over very well so it's just much easier to wait until winter you know if we weren't using seasons mod it'd be no problem you know we could just combine and then sell the grain and you know we could plant or whatever and then I could just redo it off camera or something like that you know it wouldn't be very hard but the seasons mod you know you go go through a lot of work so Yeah, we just got to get over to there. You can kind of tell where the texture, uh, the distance texture changes there. Oops. Come on, back up. All right. It's kind of funny how this tractor just stays running, but the combine shuts off instantly. Like it's off already. It's kind of annoying in a way. What the heck? Really? Come on, that's annoying. Yeah, the combine combine shut off again, right away. What the world? Oh well, empty. Not fill the gravity wagon. Okay, well, we need to get our bobcat. And we need to go clean up our spilled corn. That's not good. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Can't even get my bobcat out of the yard. There we go. lights on the bobcat. Okay, so we'll get this cleaned up and then uh, then we'll be calling it a day. Yeah, 
move our tractor in a little bit. Hopefully this reaches all the way up there. It should though, I think this thing has a pretty high reach on it. Actually we might be able to just kind of sneak in the back here, pick this up. Maybe not. enough room in this that it can pick that up. There we go. Okay, so now let's see if we can get this to dump in there. Huh. This may not have enough reach to dump this in there. There it goes. Perfect. We're glitching through it, but it's going in there, so I guess that's all that matters. And we're just going to back this thing up. And leave it sit right there. We'll take care of that later. Now let's try this again to get this thing unloaded. There we go. Alrighty guys, that's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of those social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.